Graph sketching isn't about plotting coordinates on numbered axes on a squared piece of paper. It's about getting the important details down like shape, orientation and intersection points with the axes. Is the shape a quadratic or a cubic? Is the orientation positive or negative? For example, for a quadratic that means a happy face or a sad face. What are the curve's intersection points with the axes? For the y-axis, x equals naught, and for the x-axis, y equals naught. All these things can be determined from the equation of the curve. In this short video, we look at three cubic graphs and three quadratic graphs. Our first curve is y equals x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4x. This is obviously a cubic graph since it has an x cubed term and no higher powers. Since the x cubed term is positive, we also know that it is a positive cubic, starting bottom left of our graph and finishing top right. If we factorise the cubic by taking out the x and then factorising the quadratic, we get y equals x, x minus 4, x plus 1. So we know that it crosses the x-axis at 0, 4 and minus 1. And since it crosses the x-axis at 0, it also crosses the y-axis at 0. Our second curve is y equals x squared minus 2x minus 15. This is obviously a quadratic graph since it has an x squared term. Since the x squared term is positive, we also know that it is a positive quadratic, i.e. a happy face. If we factorise the quadratic, we get y equals x minus 5, x plus 3, which crosses the x-axis at 5 and minus 3. As for the y-axis, when x is 0, y is minus 15. Our third curve is y equals 9x minus x cubed. It's another cubic graph since it has an x cubed term, but this time the x cubed term is negative, so it's a negative cubic, starting at the top left of our graph and finishing bottom right. If we factorise the cubic, we get y equals x, x minus 3, x plus 3. Then we also know that it crosses the x-axis at 0, 3 and minus 3. Again, this cubic crosses the y-axis at the origin. Our fourth curve is y equals 7 minus x, x plus 4. Back to quadratics. This one is already factorised, but if you were to multiply it out, you should be able to see that you would get a quadratic with a negative x squared term. Negative quadratics look like sad faces. Since it's already factorised, we know that it crosses the x-axis at 7 and minus 4, and substituting x equals 0, we find that the curve cuts the y-axis at 28. Our fifth curve is y equals x plus 2 squared. This is another quadratic that has already been factorised. The x squared term is positive, so it's a happy face. Since it's factorised, we know that in theory it intersects the x-axis at minus 2 and minus 2. It is clearly impossible for it to cut twice at the same x value, so what actually happens is that the curve just touches the x-axis at minus 2 without passing through. And when x is 0, y is 4. Our sixth and final curve is y equals x minus 5, x plus 3 squared. Three brackets, each with a positive x, means we have a factorised positive cubic. The repeated x plus 3 factor again tells us that the curve touches at minus 3 but doesn't pass through. The curve does, however, pass through at 5, since there's only one of them. Substituting x equals 0 gives y equals minus 45. And that's all there is to it.